You got a big dick? You have a big dick? I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron above, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And we're going to answer the age-old question, okay? Does size matter, all right? Generally, guys, no. It doesn't really matter. Listen, <laughs> Do are women gonna get attracted if you whip out a big song? Of course they're gonna get attracted if you whip out whip out a big song. That's just like us. Like if a woman has big breasts, if a woman has a fat butt, and she pull her pants down and her butt's fat, and she take her top off and her tits are big, you're gonna get hard. But past that, what does it matter? Does that mean she has good? Nope. That don't mean her V box gonna be good. <laughs> that don't mean she gonna give you that good 7-Eleven Slurpee. It just means she has a nice body. If, just because a woman has nice breasts or nice butt or whatever the case may be, does that necessarily mean you gonna want to marry her? You gonna want to be in a relationship with her? No. It just means she's more attractive. Don't even mean her V box is good. It doesn't mean nothing but that she's more attractive. So you whip out this big schlong, it don't even mean you gonna give good pipe. <laughs> it don't mean your stroke game is right. It just means you have a big schlong. So is she probably gonna want to put her mouth on it? Probably. Is it going to make her wet? Probably. But does it really matter? No. It doesn't really matter. Let me tell you guys something. Women just like big things in general. I get It's a mental thing with humans. Let me explain something to y'all. Women go to the phone stores, right? They got small ass hands. They like 4'11". But if y'all ever pay attention to women, they always have the biggest phones. They always got the Pro Max or the Samsung Plus. They always got these big six inch phones and these little ass hands, right? They usually get bigger cars. They want to pull up in SUVs and trucks and shit. Little ass girl getting out of a big ass truck. When women get places like to live, like apartments and houses, they usually get three, four, five bedrooms, got this big ass house, and it's just them in it. They just like big things. It's because mentally they're small. When you're small, you like big things. It's the same thing with us. What do men usually do? We like six foot, six four, five, right? I remember one time my homeboy came down here. I got a six one friend. I tried to hook him up with a six one friend. He ain't want her. Guess what he wanted? The four eleven friend. The short friend. You would think because he's six four, he wanted the tall girl. Nope. He wanted the small girls. Most of us like smaller girls. Look, I didn't get the Pro Max. I just got the Pro. I got the smaller phone. I was like, I was going to use my phone with one hand. When we get apartments and stuff as a man, if we're a bachelor, we're single, we're not about to get no three-bedroom, four-bedroom guest room. We don't even think about stuff like that. We're about to get us a studio or a one-bedroom or a penthouse. It's going to be super small, just enough space for us. We have our peace, quiet, and freedom. So just like girls tend to like big things even though they're small, guys tend to like small things even though we're big. It's just human psychology. It's not a big deal. And let me tell you guys something. Most of them can't take pipe anyway. All right, look, I don't cap like anybody else on this joint. I've never measured my thing because, I mean, look, you do dudes is weird. That's some insecure stuff to me. Like, back in the day, we didn't even worry about stuff. Like, I'm saying back in the day, like, I'm super old. But seriously, when I was in college and high school, we never had these conversations about how big our thing was and was it big enough for it. We didn't even care. We were just trying to sling that thing around in a safe manner where you kind of. But we were just trying to sling that thing around. Y'all, they got y'all all worried about your size and dudes like that experience saying stuff like this. And to be honest with you, both of those statements kind of got me wondering if they in the Fruit Loop true, because why they even asking y'all stuff like that? But that's neither here nor there. It's just not something we was worried about. So the most I ever did was one time I put my thing up to my phone, okay? I know my phone's like five and a half inches, right? It was bigger than the phone. So if I had to guess, it's somewhere between six, probably six and a half. I don't really know, but that's my guess. And guess what? Nine out of ten women I deal with can't even take that. They be giving me the highest and stiff arm, me slow down, and all that other extra stuff. They just be talking. I keep telling y'all women this cat. They just be talking. And here's the next thing. It doesn't even matter that I even did that because most of the time when they talk about big shorns, they're not even talking about lift. They're talking about girth, which I've never, I've never measured in general, but I damn sure haven't measured girth. Like I said, one time I just got bored and put it next to a cell phone. That's the most I ever did. So I don't even know what the girth is. Maybe that's why they react in that way. But either way, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you still got to know what you're doing with it. I remember I said this before. One of my homegirls, her baby dad, super big D, best sex she ever had. She cheated on three times. So what does it really matter? <laughs> like, what does it really matter? And then I had another homegirl, she's like, I don't even like dealing with dudes with big ones because they always try to go to him and then it ends up being painful and then it gets annoying. <laughs> so it's just like, who cares? It's not a big deal, guys. 
I, I keep telling y'all, these dudes keep telling y'all stuff to make y'all insecure, to make y'all buy products. You got FedEx Fear that's out here talking about some, oh, you can buy this and then make your D bigger. Nothing can make your D bigger. Look, whatever size your D is, that's the size your D is. You can increase your libido so that you get up more, but making it bigger, that's not gonna happen. Like, that's not going to happen, and you don't need it to happen. Listen, if you're going to worry about that, take the time to perfect your stroke, because that's what matters the most, okay? Once you perfect your stroke, you can make any girl come. Like, look, at 30 years old, I know how to bend it, twist it, flip it, bop it. It doesn't make a difference. I can make anybody come in like two minutes, just because I know what to do from experience. Focus on that. Don't focus on something you can't change. You can't change the size of your D, guys. This is why women are insecure, because they walk around, my breasts aren't that big, my butt isn't that big, and then they fly to Brazil and get bot butt injections and all that stuff. As a man, you're not supposed to be worried about that. You're supposed to be coming in like you got the monster pipe with that swag, with that confidence, even if it's four inches, because if you feel like you're about to put it down, she's going to feel like you're about to put it down. But if you subconscious, you like, oh, I feel like I'm small, she's going to feel like you're small. At the end of the day, man, that also comes from watching pornos, too. Besides watching these weird red pills, dude stop watching pornos because i feel like that also begin in your head too and these dudes got penis pumps and dick rings and all that other extra stuff don't worry about it. look <laughs> y'all heard this before but this is a fact before i get out of here okay it's not the size of the boat it's the motion of the ocean that's a hundred percent true i'll even give you guys a tip learn the tantric stroke start watching tantric videos and learn the tantric stroke if you learn the tantric stroke you'll be fine it literally does not matter what size you are. Learn the tangent trope and learn how to scoop and you'll be making them bust left and right. So no, it doesn't really matter. It'll be, ooh, it's something nice to look at, but when it comes down to the come down, no one's gonna like treat you a certain way because you're this big or it doesn't even, like I said, mean that you're gonna be good at anything because you're that big. It's just something that's there. It's just something that's nice to look at. It's nothing to lose your mind over. You dudes need to learn to relax, all right? God damn, y'all always be insecure about something, man. I swear, y'all soft as hell nowadays. I'm Alex, I'm out, peace.